Hey guys, what is going on? This is Carnover5, and this is another gameplay for you guys. Today we're playing the Bakerfield Beast. Uh, he is pitching Larry Anna. We are pitching Chris Sell. He has the Impact Veteran Hanley, Creative Player Ken Griffey, Matt Kemp, Adrian Gonzalez, the 98 Miggy. Uh, so it should be a good game. He's 10 and 3. We're 12 and 0. If we win, we get into the World Series. If not, probably going to lose a decent amount of points. Not sure what his rating was. Uh, PSN is Dodgers blue seems like that's a lot of people's PSN so I'm not sure if I played them or not and we're playing at Coors Field lovely Coors Field I've been love playing here lately uh, the altitude effect I think it's a beautiful stadium it's got a good hitters eye as well so let's go ahead and get it started uh, before we do that though we're gonna go ahead and uh, check out his bullpen and we're also gonna switch to uh, well I believe I switched to um, Pitcher offset. I like to do that for lefties. So yeah, so it feels like I get the ball easier. And on the hands of righties, so, you know, flicking a stick up into the right, I feel like it's a little easier. And we start off the strike with a cold ball, missed outside a little bit. <clears throat> Go ahead and get it to a 2-0 count. We throw another fastball away. Hits it pretty well, so I could tell his timing was pretty good there. And it's just going to be a fly out to center field though. Griffey takes that one. Then his creative player in a two hole. Get it to a 1-0 uh, count, and we challenge him, and he turned on it. So good hit by my opponent. Um, that told me that he had a quick bat, so I had to adjust pretty fast. I couldn't just keep challenging him. So he definitely turned on that, and then we get we get a couple outs here, and we get to Matt Kemp. Go ahead and strike him out to get out of the inning. Uh, we're down one to nothing, but that's all right. Mike Trout leading off for us, rips a single. To left field you're gonna go ahead and stay at one here don't want to test him uh, Lariano I don't think is very good I'm not sure why he was uh, using him to be honest and then Ed Matthews comes up we do a little hit and run works out perfectly Trout's gonna go from first to third um, I might have been able to score him from first too I didn't, I didn't want to risk anything though we have nobody out and we got the creative player coming up and work it to a 3-0 count taken all the way here Borderline pitch, and we go ahead and load the bases for Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, lefty on lefty matchup, though. We got it to a 1-2 count. He throws a fastball down and away, and Griffey rips it to the left center gap. And you can run for days here at Coors. Just missed going out of the ballpark. And Griffey is going to be able to get a bases loaded clearing triple. Three RBIs for Griffey. No outs still. So up 3 to nothing. Now we got Dawson coming up to face the lefty. You know he crushes lefties. Uh, we chase a fastball away. Shouldn't have chased that. I thought maybe I could drive it deep enough, but I did not want to test his right fielder. Uh, he got under. He got behind the ball pretty well and made a good throw home. So I didn't want to. I didn't want to challenge him there. And then Votto came up. He has the uh, situational hitter quirk. It's lefty on lefty. Um, hit it sharply to first base. He's just going to go ahead and concede the run, take the out. So we do get all four runs in, and that's really all all I can ask for in the first inning. Um, so we cut the deficit, or excuse me, we go up three runs. We're up four to one at this point. Ripken kind of rolls over to short, but that's okay. I'll take a four to one lead. We're trying to get to the World Series here. Um, haven't lost yet. See if we can get there undefeated. And we got Chris Hill going, feeling pretty confident. Um, this is Adrian Gonzalez. He hits it decent, but the center field, and we got the shift on. Um, so didn't hit it hard enough to there to beat the shift or get past the center fielder. Next batter, um, he kind of pulls off a little bit, made a, until he got the PCI on it. So good hit by my opponent. So I know he had a quick bat. I had to try to stay away from him, mixing the sliders and change ups. And then he has Cano coming up. And for whatever reason, he decided to go ahead and leave Cano in, um, you know, which is fine. I would probably would have personally platooned him. And he gets into a Taylor made double play. So it didn't work out for him there. I mean, I would I would have somebody to platoon with Cano, whether it's a live series or the, um, the flashback Cano. They both don't hit lefties great. The live series hits them a little bit better, though. Next inning, we rip a single up the middle. So we're going to have another runner on. We're going to try to sacrifice him over with Chris Sell here. And we're going to be able to do so. A lot of the times, that's kind of a risky play. I don't like sending my runners on that either, because uh, if you pop up or something, you can hit into a double play. Um, but you can also hit into one, too, if you just bunt regular. So it's just kind of pick your poison. And then Trout comes up. We get a fastball down and away. I thought we had pretty good timing, pretty good PCI placement on this, but it's not going to be able to leave the park and do any damage. But we do tag up from second to third. But we already have two outs, so we're going to need a two-out hit here. 
And Matthews comes up lefty on lefty. Already has a hit this game. Swinging first pitch. Hit it decent. I'm not sure where the PCI placement was. But his center fielder is going to run that one down. It almost leaves the park, actually. So 4-1 to one still at this point. And still got Chris Sell. Still feeling pretty confident. I still like Chris Sell. I think at this point a lot of people have seen him. People are starting to get used to him a little bit. But, I mean, he just dominates lefties. I love having him in there. Gets the first out of the inning, then kind of jams Lariano, hits a weak liner to uh, Cal over there at short. Now he has Hanley, who's his leadoff guy, 0-1 count, get in the chase. Uh, like I think it was a slider down and in, but he's going to kind of bloop it in there for a hit. So that's okay. Um, he was chasing those sliders down and in. He was also ch chasing changeups down and in. As you can see there, he chased that one, but we didn't get it in all the way. So he's going to uh, find a hole there and get another single. So he's going to have a chance to... Uh, tie the game. He's got the tying run coming up to the play. This is Ken Griffey. Works to a two account. Another slider away. Second baseman makes a good play on it, and he's going to get the out at second. So we're able to get out of there uh, with no harm done. Still up three runs. Next inning, Dawson gets a fastball kind of middle way. Didn't get it away enough, however, and Dawson crushes it left center. That was just an absolutely, absolute, ball was absolutely demolished there. And the next batter, we get a full count. And this is Joey Votto. Hit it decent. And for whatever reason, his left fielder does not make the play. And we're going to be able to get to second on this. I uh, don't remember if they called this an error or not. It should have been an error. Not sure what happened there. But whatever, I'll take it. And now Cal Ripken comes up. One, two count. Two outs. See if we can get some insurance. Hit it decent. Could have pulled it. Could have went up the middle a little bit better. And it's going to be at Robinson Cano. And he makes the play at first base. So we're up 5-1 to one at this point. And then, again, I'm still trying to uh, get those sliders and change-ups down and in. Got to make sure I get them in, though, because if I miss my spot, you guys seen what he could do in the first inning. Uh, put it over the left field wall. And the next batter, Adrian Gonzalez, against the shift. I thought I was going to be able to get to this, but it just kept uh, telling away from me. And Trout's not able to get to it, and he's going to get a uh, blue pit there against the shift. And the 98 Cabrera comes up. Uh, threw another kind of like fastball. I think that was a, fa or a change up slider down and in again. And he just slated it into right field. So he's going to have two on. Didn't hit the ball particularly hard this inning, but we're going to have to make our way out of a jam. He finally took out just our Robinson Cano, which he should have done out in the beginning if you're going to take him out, you know, in the fourth. And then Justin Turner, get him a swing in there at a slider down and in. See if we can get him to chase a high fastball here. Miss our spot a little bit. Um, but it's going to work out for us and induce a weak fly out to left field. Runners aren't going to be able to advance either, so <clears throat> it's going to bring up his are going to bring up Cal Ripken with uh, two outs. And look at this, this is ridiculous. This is another slider down in that I got on the chase, and he hit it out. Um, I've hit one out myself like that. I've seen it a few times. That's just I mean that's just crazy. Whatever though, we're up, we're still up a run though, so we're gonna to have to battle. Um, <clears throat> it's gonna be a tough game if we want to make World Series. We're gonna to have to grind this one out and score some more runs. The next inning, that's what we're going to try to do. We got Ben Zobrist in the game. We substituted him in, uh, I believe, for Corey Seager. So we're facing the lefty. He hits a double into the gap. So that's a good start. And we decided to go ahead and take out Chris Sell. Although he wasn't pitching bad, really no points to leave him in. We haven't used our bullpen in a while. We decided to go ahead and bring in Hanley Ramirez off the bench, who's an excellent hitter. And my opponent counters with Roberto Asuna. And we're looking first pitch here, trying to drive the run in, get a fastball away. Uh, kind of bloop it in there again to center field. That's what I'm saying. Like a lot of bloops fall in the cores, man. The, the gaps are huge. The outfield is huge. So I mean, you might want to consider, you know, playing deep all the time. But then if you play, if you don't play deep, you're gonna get burnt, you know, almost all the time for a triple in the gap. And then Cal or uh, Mike Trout comes up. He kind of hit this one weird. I'm surprised that went out. But hey, we'll take it. Mike Trout dead center field. I think that was like a just late, um, just late swing on a pitch middle in, but he got just enough of it. And that's going to give us a nice little cushion there. And we're going to go up 8-4 to four at this point. So, <clears throat> added a couple more runs there. Gave us some insurance. You know, after my opponent got that three-run homer. And we fly out weakly to center field. That's going to go ahead and do it for the inning. But like I said, we got that four-run lead. I decided to go ahead and bring in Jansen. Haven't used him in a while. I feel like he's my best. I want to, I want to give this guy my best uh, while, you know, while the game is close. See if he can make a comeback on my two best pitchers. And that's Jansen and Chapman. Hit it decent to uh, left field there. Got kind of jammed, though. And then King Griffey comes up. I decided to go with the sinker away. Hit our spot perfectly. 
and you can tell that he probably didn't have very good PCI placement on this. He gets under it a little bit, and that's a weak fly out to Mike Trout. Next inning, we'll work a 3-0 count. He decides to go ahead and throw a cutter away. We take that pitch, and Dawson works himself a nice walk. And then Joey Votto comes up. We're swinging first pitch. Uh, not a good a bat here. We get way under it, pop it up to his catcher. I thought maybe it would get out of play, but it did not. So that's going to be a one down and bring up Cal Ripken, who's 0 for 2. Seems like he's just kind of hit or miss lately. But, uh, decided to do a hit and run here. I think I was just trying to steal, and then I was just trying to protect my runner because he got a late jump. And then, of course, knowing my luck, we hit right to him into a, a tailor-made double play somehow. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and leave Jansen in. My opponent gets another blue pit. This is Adrian Gonzalez. I feel like I've said that a lot this game. I didn't realize he got so many kind of, uh, you know, blue pits when I was playing him. And then Miguel Cabrera comes up. We throw a cutter away. Um, he kind of almost blew this one in there as well, but Ken Griffey's going to be able to get to it, keep him at one. And that's going to go ahead and bring up Justin Turner, who he subbed in earlier for Cano. And Turner is a diamond at this point. So a slider. I think that was slider off the plate, kind of below the strike zone, and he's able to uh, go with it to right field. And then his next batter, this is Cal Ripken, I believe, jammed him with a uh, sinker middle in, in on the hands. So my opponent keeps getting runners on, but he cannot really capitalize. Besides that big throw in homer, he's left a lot of runners on. And the next inning, we get two quick outs. Uh, Trout does single to left field, though, so we're going to try to uh, get a rally start of this inning, even though there are two outs. Next batter is going to be Ed Matthews. He already has a single in this game. 2-2 uh, count. And he throws me a hanging slurve. Um, kind of just slated. Hit it pretty hard, but is right out his third baseman. So now we decide to go ahead and bring in Chapman. We've got Iglesias warming up. And a 1-0 count. Looked like he had decent timing on these, but some of them, you can tell his PCI placement was just not there. And we induce a weak fly out to center field. And then Hanley comes up 2-2 count. We throw a slider down and in. Missed our spot a little bit. Thankfully, he didn't crush this. And then Matthews makes a nice little play at third to get the out. So, so far, our bullpen's um, holding our opponent in check here. And really, besides some blue pits and that crazy throw on Homer, um, he hasn't you know been doing too much. The first inning, he turned on one nicely. Um, has a couple lineouts here and there. So, I'm feeling confident. I feel like our bullpen can... Uh, keep him at bay. I think eight runs might be enough to beat this guy. He brings in the impact veteran, uh, Gold Wagner. And Kenny Powers goes ahead and takes one into right center. And like I said, he's like there's really no point in playing deep because even if you cut it off, it's still a double almost every time unless it's like Victor Martinez or Jorge Posada. And then Griffey comes up. He tries to throw a slider down and away. His catcher mishandles it and we're able to get to third base. So all we need now is either a uh, decently hit fly ball or a ground out. And we do get a grounder up the middle, so that's going to score another runner. And we're going to go up 9-4 to four at this juncture. So it's looking pretty good. Andre Dawson comes up, doesn't do anything. And then Votto comes up, rips one in the right field. Uh, ball finds, finds a way to get through. And the next batter, Cal Ripken, who's 0-3. Like I said, don't feel like he's been doing much lately. He still has Asuna in. And we ground out. Chase it looked like a changeup. Chase the changeup. Rolled over to third base. Uh, we do have a five-run lead though, and we got Chapman pitching. It's the eighth inning here. Full count. Time up with a fastball middle in. So we're five outs away getting to the World Series. Can we do it? Now he's got Matt Kemp who demolishes lefties. Three-two count. I'm gonna go middle in again, see if he can hit it. Missed our spot a little bit. Uh, still kind of tied him up nonetheless. I think he might have been looking changeup or slider. Then Adrian Gonzalez, 0-2 count. We throw a slider down away a little bit. And strike him out. So Chapman comes in, strikes out the side. So we're three outs away from World Series again. Uh, getting that Ralph Kiner. We already got the Gagne. Trying to get that Kiner now. Uh, we pinched it, Lou Brock. Got a single to left field. And the next batter got out. We decided to go ahead and still second Lou Brock. Really too easy. Uh, it's almost a guaranteed triple if he gets on. See if we can get a big hit, th big hit here, though, with Ed Matthews. Run out. Lou Brock's on second, so a base hit's... Pretty much going to score him pretty easily. Uh, but we hit one sharply to first base, and that's going to be a uh, line out to first base. Decided to go ahead and bring in Iglesias, see if he can close the deal for us, get us to the World Series. Got our opponent to a 0-2 count. This is Miguel Cabrera. Got him to chase the slider. So that's one out. We're two outs away. We're Justin Turner coming up. And he hits another blue pit. Uh, got him to chase the sinker there. That was way off the plate. So not really much you can do about those. So he's staying alive. He's got Cal Ripken coming up, who's one for three today. Full count. 
And good eye by my opponent. Laid off that slider. Just missed. Low and away. Uh, he decided to go ahead and pinch it. Steve Finley. He's got two on here. Working to a full count. And we throw a sinker middle in. Hits the spot perfectly. Got him looking. So we're one out of way. We've got the Hanley Ramirez up here. 1-1 one, one count. And we throw a hanging slider. So luckily he hit that one foul and did not keep it fair. Very early on that. And we decided to go with a sinker up and in. See if we can get him the chase to end the game. And we do. We get him to chase that, and Joey Votto is going to camp under this one, and that's going to go ahead and do it. So another World Series appearance, or whatever you want to call it, uh, we go up to 9 and 13, and that takes us to 13 and 0. So from here on out, I don't know what kind of. I'm probably just going to post like some good games, interesting games. I'm not going to post every single one, but I hope you guys enjoy this kind of mini series, you know, Road to World Series. Anyways, make sure you guys like the video, um, subscribe, all that good stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. This is Conor Five signing out. Peace.